believers you are welcome to believers global tv if you know you are truly a believer then this is the right place for you this is believers global tv on this channel we create christian content that will edify your spirit that will build you up in the way of the lord and all the contents that we create on this channel are purely christian content so please subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notification bell so that each time we release any content at all, you'll be notified. The Bible says our faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So it is what you hear that builds you up. It is what you hear that transforms your life. It is what you hear and you engage that brings result into your life. So please, as you're about to listen to this message, please, when you listen, Make sure that your spirit, your mind, your soul is part of this and let your heart be open, open, listen with a heart of faith, listen with a believing heart. Let there be no doubt in your mind. Let there be no doubt in, doubt in your heart. So as we are about to listen to this, I pray that this message will profit you in the name of Jesus. So without wasting much of our time, let's get into the message. God bless you. Please look at me. There is no, in the world that we live in right now, there is no amount of physical security that is enough to protect an individual from the spiritual, emotional, and even physical harm and mayhem that plagues our society. We have seen people attacked with the most sophisticated security architecture. We've seen people become victims of something the psalmist calls the arrows that fly by day, the noisome pestilences by night, is that true? The destruction that wastes in noonday. We've seen people healthy and strong, yet they died. We've seen people attempting to manage mysterious sicknesses that doctors and you know medics are not able to diagnose. The Lord's side means immunity against the wickedness and the mayhem that plagues our world. In fact, the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. You believe that? It says the righteous run net to it and they are saved. That some trust in horses and chariots. Now you must understand that horses and chariots are very important. The armies in ancient times who climb on horses and chariots to fight. So it says some trust in horses and chariots, but we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. The Lord's side is a side of protection and preservation. I don't know about you, but I submit to you by the integrity of the word that the days that are coming will require supernatural protection and supernatural protection preservation because you see for many of you the way God is training you and the way God is raising you there are altars that fought people who went before you at the moment someone begins to rise from a family here comes these wicked spirits and this altar it says what seest thou and it says four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Jerusalem, and against Israel. He says, so that no man doth lift up his head. Have you seen a scenario where someone who now becomes the breadwinner or the one God is lifting to wipe the tears of a family and all of a sudden he will tell you, I just went out and a bike hit me. Shout God forbid. God. One more time, shout God forbid. Who is on the Lord's side means who is interested in securing the protection and the preservation of Elohim in these perilous times, these evil days. Where someone can give you a kiss as Judas, you will think it's a kiss of love, but it's a sign to the enemy, this is the one to kill. Have you not heard of people who arrange the kidnap of their fathers, their brothers, and they join the people to cry? The Bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked. Is someone getting blessed already? Let me tell you the truth. It's good to be in the side of the police. 
it's good to be this on the side of the law enforcement agencies the dss they have their place excellent people it's good to be in the side of all kinds of people it's good to be in the side of um, doctors and medics and paramedics but the lord is asking you a question if god does not build a house who will claim that he can build it for you are we together yes who is on the lord's side meaning who is on the side of preservation i don't know about you but i'm not ready to risk my life giving a chance to trust mundane things and people i have found that god is the only one who can protect a man the bible says he stands by me as a mighty terrible one I don't know the arrows that fly by day. I don't know how many shrines my name is taken to every day. I don't know how many shrines coin. You will be joking to believe everybody loves you. You will be joking to think that while you are praying in tongues, while you are rising and declaring, God lift me. I hope you know that while you are making up your mind to be a blessing, Satan is also a witness. He's watching your prayer. He's watching your sacrifice. He's already seen the formation of the anointing upon you. He knows you are an apostle rising for sure he knows you're a prophet rising for sure he knows that you're a kingdom entrepreneur rising for sure and I assure you by the integrity of scripture Satan will do all within his power don't say I did not trouble anyone the fact that you found yourself on this side of God's kingdom and you made up your mind for Jesus a line has been drawn who is on the Lord's side who is on the side of safety and preservation. Our forefathers, even though they did not serve the God of heaven, they were intelligent enough to know that they would never leave home without protection. Am I right on that? They had all kinds of things. They would tie some, they would swallow some. Some of us, even growing up, sadly, maybe we were victims of some of these people they made all kinds of incisions they made incantations they were not evil it was their way they knew that the war is risky to walk without protection and preservation someone can shake your hand and say how are you i've not seen you for 10 years and from the day he shook your hand you don't know whether it's hiv or it's cancer you just know you are losing weight you just know you are not seeing well. What is happening to you? Where did you go to? I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. I lay me down and I slept. I wait. For the Lord sustains me. The Lord had a shield for me. My glory is my head. Prophesy it upon your destiny. you're seated I'd like you to begin to prophesy protection upon yourself and upon your children no power no enchantment no charm will walk over my life in the name of Jesus I declare that I am on the Lord's side oh they shall gather but that their gathering is not of God there is a mysterious force that will scatter them declare prayer covering over your children over your ministry I will not be the victim of the conclusion of the wickedness of men immune by the jealousy and the preserving power of Elohim someone pray I have no covenant with death I have no covenant with destruction I have no covenant with necromancy and invocation of dark powers activities of familiar spirits Hallelujah. 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 The higher you rise in life, the more you must understand the mystery of preservation. Please hear what I'm telling you. 
I'm not scaring you, but I'm opening you to the reality of the world that we live in. Are we together? What did Jesus do to command attacks? All he needed to do was exploits. And a, a group of people gathered and said, this person is making news too much. No, this is the whole city is turning towards him. What do we do now? Who can we use? What can we use? Let me prophesy to someone, any gathering in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, where your name is mentioned for evil, may fire consume that gathering. May fire consume that gathering. May fire consume that gathering in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Let me speak over any man of God here. Any attack to fight your mantle. Every attack to fight your church. Every orchestration of darkness to fight your relevance. It goes down in the name of Jesus. Please sit down. This is the reason why it matters whose side you are. Jesus told us that we have the liberty to serve many things, not just many gods. In fact, you can choose God or mammon. You can choose the God of heaven or Baal. You can choose God of heaven or whatever kind of thing. You can even serve yourself, be the God of yourself. Like the rich fool said, my soul find rest. Thank you for staying to the end of this message. But before you leave, I want to tell you a story. There was a father who has two sons. And so he sent two of his sons to the farm, like to go and harvest yam. So he called them both and sent them. The elderly one says he is going to go, that he is going to like go on the errands. But the younger one says he's not going to go and so they left the presence of the man and behold the one that says he will go to the farm does not actually went but the one who says he was not going to go at a point he thought within himself and said my father has been very responsible for me so i will go so he changed his mind and went so I want to ask, among these two sons, who actually does the will of the father? It is the younger one. So as you have listened to this message, it's not about listening alone. If you're listening, and probably you feel stirred up. But later on, the zeal, the passion that you had when you were listening to this message dies, and you do not apply this message, it means the time that you dedicated listening to, them, to this message was a waste. So it is not about what you share alone. It's not about the messages that you listen to alone. It is more of what you take out of th those messages and then apply to your daily lives to make you um, better. So I do hope and I pray that this message will transform your life. We'll turn your life around.